All right, hello. I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com, and it is so amazingly hot in my studio today. I actually have with me water with ice in it. Experiencing a heat wave. It's getting hot in here. Hot in here. Hot in here. Hot in here. Yes, you could definitely say that. And that's the uh, kind of audio I'm working on at the moment. So in this stream, I thought I would show you exactly how to pitch shift DJ jingles like a boss in the multi-track of Adobe Audition. It's very straightforward and you don't need to mess about with going into the waveform view over here behind me and uh, messing about and using the effects menu and going to time and pitch and doing all of that. No, it's much easier and I'll show you how right now in the multi-track. But first of all, I need to shrink. <laughs> okay, right now. We'll go ahead and do some fantastic pitch shifting uh, with a couple of these jingles. So as you can hear, I've got a jingle here. It's getting hot in here. Hot in here. Hot in here. Hot in here. Wonderful. But we can do so much more with that. And I'll show you how. First of all, go to the track that you'd like to apply pitch shifting to. I would like to apply pitch shifting to all of these voices here. So here you hear. Hot in here. Hot in here. The repetition of hot in here. I'd like to do something with that. Also over here in this DJ intro, which I'll play in full in just a moment, you'll hear this bit. One, one. And if I rewind that, that's uh, one with a repetition twice, saying one, 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 like this. One, one, one. So that's part of a countdown. And then we've got the famous uh, word that all DJ jingles seem to end on, and that is now, now, now. You got it now. So I'm working on a voice session and producing it uh, with one of our Music Radio Creative voice artists called Sheldon. And you can find him on the website at musicradiocreative.com if you'd like your own DJ jingle with Sheldon in it. Right. Okay. Let's get into this. So I've got my voice track here. And what I want to do is, first of all, look over to the effects rack. So the effects rack is very important. That's where I'm adding all of my effects. Uh, already I'm adding processing to Sheldon with the DSer, the scientific filter, but a dynamics processing, speech volume leveler, hard limiter, and parametric equalizer for good measure as well. Uh, then I will head over to this one here, which you might not already have. You might have nothing there. In fact, you might have nothing at all. Uh, to add an effect, it's very simple. You just drop down, pop down the menu there, and you look for what you want. It's exactly the same as going into the effects menu up the top if you're in the waveform view. So you just look for time and pitch, and uh, you'll see a few less options because you can't do everything in the multi-track that you can in the waveform. But here pitch shifter and there you'll see it's enabled we don't need to worry about this interface at all that pops up here in the middle of the screen because we're going to be doing it uh, using the the automation envelopes on the multi-track I'm going to show you this in detail by zooming into my top track here making that nice and large and let's let's zoom in even further and look at uh, this this cross-faded hot in here let's play it again it's getting hot in here hot in here hot in here hot in here Okay, so you can hear that, and then I'll pop down this triangle here. It's very important that you look at that triangle there, pop it down, and where it says show envelopes, you want to look for the effect that you've just added. So, uh, for instance, pitch shifter is right down here, and transpose ratio is exactly what you want to go for. I'll go through those steps again so it's absolutely clear and getting through to you, and you understand this so you can literally go away from this video and do it yourself. So pop down the triangle here underneath the the, the read area and look for show envelopes. You've got all your other effects that you may have already in the effects rack. You want to go for pitch shifter, transpose ratio. So simple, it drops you a nice sort of magenta -y, uh, purple line there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in a little envelope here, a little envelope there, and then one here, and I'm going to go wee like that. Let's take it right up to the top and see how that sounds. What I'm doing is I'm pitch shifting up very easily in the multi track now. Have a listen. It's getting hot in here. Hot in here. Hot in here. Hot in here. Okay, maybe that's a bit too much, so you can pop it down a bit so the pitch shift is not too dramatic. Let's have a listen to that. It's getting hot in here. 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 Yeah, I'm happy with that, and uh, it certainly is getting hot in here. Mm. Okay, on to the DJ intro. Um, you probably want to listen to this in full so you can hear what it's going to sound like. So I'm going to zoom right out again and I'm going to play that DJ intro for you now. And then we'll do a little bit of pitch shifting uh, to the rep repetition on 111 and on now, now, now. So let's have a listen to how it sounds in context. Five, four, three, two, one, one, one. Ignition. Dunes are set. Are you ready? Start. 
Start now. 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 Ooh, dramatic and eerie. It's a DJ intro that we're creating here at musicradiocreative.com today. So I'm just going to... I'm going to do two things, actually. I'm obviously going to do the pitch shift, and I'll take it down. You see how easy it is just to draw the envelopes on in the multi-track once you've set this up perfectly and drop it down. Let's have a listen now to that, just that little clip there. Oh, that sounds so good and butch, doesn't it? Let's listen to the whole countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. That works for me, and I'm going to add a little extra effect. It's not pitch shifting, but I'm going to pan over to the left and over to the right, so we get a stereo pan there on the 111. Works for me. And then we'll go to now, 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 and again, we can do a similar thing here by dropping in the envelopes, and we can we can do it like this. Start now. 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 We can take it up a bit so it's not so dramatic. Start now. 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 Or we could even take it all the way up. Like Start this. now. 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 So there you go. Pitch shifting in Adobe Audition's multi track. Non destructive, of course. If I go back to the waveform, you'll listen to the now. Now. It hasn't changed at all. It's got a lot less processing. Now. But it hasn't changed at all. So you can have fun with pitch shifting without breaking things and having to do millions and millions of undos. It's all here. Uh, one thing to be aware of, though, if you select everything and you start moving it around on the multi track like this, we like that, you'll lose your automations. Yeah. So uh, it's very important to uh, keep things where they are. In in the multi-track if you choose that method of editing but have fun with it let me know how you get on in the comments to this video i look forward to hearing from you and i hope you've enjoyed this uh, this tutorial and also live stream a very short one for you from musicradiocreative.com